In this episode, we are going to be reviewing two coolers, the infamous Yeti, and it'll be going against the Arctic. This video isn't really gonna be about cheap versus expensive, but we're gonna see if the Yeti is really worth double the price of the Arctic. For starters, the Yeti is worth $200. Meanwhile, the Arctic is worth 90. So two of these would be 180. Now let's talk about our first comparison. Let's first start off with the Yeti. Right off the bat, there are two ways to carry the cooler. This main top handle, which is very sturdy. I could tell that this is not gonna rip at all. Very sturdy. And this back one, same thing. Just as sturdy, you could tell that this thing it's just not going to go anywhere. It's not going to rip or anything. Overall, very good quality. It has this bottom piece that is really sturdy, really tough. I mean, it's just basically another layer of protection. But overall, these things, this, the little hinges on the, on the back and front are really nice. Sturdy, just as sturdy as the handles. These zippers, they're super tough. And they claim to be spill proof. It has this shoulder strap that is just as good quality. I mean, and it also comes with this, this gel-like material. Overall, this is all amazing quality. But, I mean, you would expect this from a $200 cooler. Now, moving on to the Arctic. Right off the bat, just feeling it up. I mean, you could tell it's cheaper. All around, it's made with like this plastic. The handles, just a little bit more, you know, just not as tough. You could tell. These straps, not as tough. But don't get me wrong. It is good quality, just not as good as the Yeti's. Just like the Yeti, this has another bottom protection piece, which is good for from protecting it when you place it on the ground. Onto the zipper, just as tough, because it claims to be leak proof, but the Arctic might beat it, because it does feel a little bit smoother. And this zipper is not as bulky as the Yeti. And the Arctic also comes with this shoulder strap, that is just like basically the same quality as the cooler all around. Not as great, but I mean, hey, it's $90, so can't complain. I'm not saying that it's cheap, but the quality is just, it's good, but it's not great. Now that we're done with the build quality, let's move on to the attachments. All right, so for attachments, they both come with their own shoulder straps, as we already covered. Um, they also come with their own little zipper lubricant and paperwork. This is for the Arctic. And this is what the Yeti comes with, a zipper lubricant as well, and just more paperwork that nobody reads. As far as these go, as we already covered, this one feels a little bit on the cheaper end. The one from Yeti feels pretty premium with this like rubberized texture on the inside so it won't slip as easily off your shoulder. Uh, whereas the Yeti one, it's kind of trying to do the same thing, but it's a little bit of a slicker surface. So it's more likely that the Arctic one is going to fall off your shoulder a little easier. All right, so as far as what you can actually add onto these coolers for the Arctic, there's not much you can really add. It has no attachment points other than the two side clips for the shoulder straps. There's no molly webbing or anything on here, but it does come with a sort of a pre-built attachment, a little front zipper pocket, just to give you an idea of what fits in here. Let's put one of the larger iPhones in here. So you don't get a lot of space, so Maybe some paperwork or cash or wallet if you have a slim one. So yeah, you don't get many options as far as the Arctic goes in terms of attachments. But let's take a, let's take a look at the Yeti because for that you do get quite a bit of options. So as you can see on the Yeti, you got these Molly attachment points on the front and on the back. You also have this little Velcro patch for putting your own patches on there or whatever, however you want to personalize your cooler. I'll put some clips in from the previous video, but basically you can put like the dry pouches on the front. You can put bottle openers or the water bottle holders as well. But those attachments are pretty pricey, so when you start adding it all together, you know, you got a $200 cooler plus $150 attachment and then another $30 attachment, 25, 15, all those start adding up, so all of a sudden you're going to have like a $300 cooler. So next, let's take a look at how many cans actually fit in these things. So as you can see, the Arctic cooler is slightly taller than the Yeti. The Yeti cooler holds 11 cans with no ice and the Arctic cooler holds 12 with no ice. So just one can difference, not a big deal. But now let's see how leak proof they are. All right, next we're gonna talk about how leak proof they are. And as you can hear, this thing's full of water. So let's do the old flip test. That's pretty good. Yeti, A plus. Now it's time for the Arctic. We're about to see this one right here. Oh yeah, that's full. All right, this one I'm gonna go to nervous for. 
Oh well. All right, so it looks like they're both leak proof. So that's a good thing right there. So the Yeti comes with a three year warranty and maintenance. And the Arctic, it comes with a one year warranty. So when it comes to cleaning, it's, uh, it's actually pretty simple. You know, you just kind of pull back right here on this edges right here and you scrub. And as far as the rest in here, you know, straightforward. There's no cracks, there's nothing to actually hide dirt on. So the Yeti, it's uh, pretty similar to the Arctic. So that just means that it's easy to clean. And right here, this is uh, the lube for the zipper. And so what you do here is you just, you kind of rub it on and make sure to get it all nice and even throughout the whole surface. That should make the zipper a lot easier to close. This Arctic right here is exactly the same as the Yeti when it comes to the interior. So just, you know, for cleaning, make sure to you know, get inside here as mold can grow. And in the interior, there's no cracks, nothing, no gaps to hide mold or nothing. These things are pretty fairly easy to clean. So that's the good thing about these. And the zipper for the Yeti, I would say a little faster to close, but obviously the high quality one is always gonna be the Yeti. Now that we got all those things out of the way, let's get on to the most important part, which is the ice test. We're gonna put six cans in each cooler, the same amount of ice, and then every two hours, we're gonna check to see how the ice is holding up and see which one melts first. All right, so we ended up going with four cans in each one. I have the cooler on a scale here, it's completely zeroed. So we're gonna weigh the amount of ice that goes into it. I'm gonna try to put about five pounds of ice in each one. All right, I got about five pounds of ice in this one right here. Now we're gonna shut it and fill up the Arctic. All right, now same thing for the Arctic. We got four cans in here and I'm gonna try to get uh, about five pounds of ice right now. It's zeroed out, so when this hits five, we'll know we have the same amount of ice. All right, there we go. After taking some of that ice out, we have hit exactly five pounds of ice. So now we're just gonna start our two hour timer. Zip this up and check it in two hours. All right, the two hours is now up. As you can see, they both have a pretty good amount of ice still in there. Uh, it might look like the Yeti has a little bit more ice, but that's just because it's a slightly smaller cooler, so it looks like it's more full, but they both have the same amount of ice to start with, and um, maybe in, a, in another two hour time, we'll be able to tell if there's a big difference or not. So we'll start the two hour timer again, and we'll be back in two hours. Okay, so now that we're 26 hours in, it's kind of hard to see which one has more ice left in it. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh how much ice is left. We started at five pounds. So using this little strainer scoop here, we're gonna try to get just the ice and carry over no water. And the total weight of the ice is coming out to 810 grams. So 810 grams for the Arctic. Now let's see what the Yeti is looking like. All right, same thing here for the Yeti. We're gonna take out all the cans, just weigh only the ice, and we'll see which one has conserved more of the ice in 26 hours. It looks like the Yeti has been able to keep just a little bit more ice over that 26 hour period, coming in at 854 grams. So from these results, in a 26 hour period, we can see that the Yeti is just 5% or so better than the Arctic. All right, so even though I really like the look of the Yeti, if I had to pick just one, I would probably go with the Arctic. I don't plan on putting any attachments on my cooler. The build quality is still really good, and it gives me 95% of the Yeti performance for less than half the cost. So if I do end up losing it or it breaks down, then I can just buy another one, and that'll still come out cheaper than buying a Yeti. But if you want something that's more customizable, looks really cool and you don't mind putting down 200 bucks then go for the Yeti. it's a really premium product so if this video was helpful to you in any way please subscribe we're going to continue to post on this channel so let us know what you want to see next peace